Well, hello everybody. Larry here, and uh, today I'm going to share with you my pin carry for whenever the ink runs out, then I rotate my pins. Uh, first of all, before I go into that, I want to share with you uh, one of my new inks. I'm just one of other inks that I bought. The Lamy Paradox. Is that how you say it? Either Perido or Peridot. Alright. It's right down in here. As you can see right here. You know, for me, I love the color. And uh, I got me a Q-tip and I did a real good squishy on it. But uh, I wrote it out with a broad nib and it, it you know, I really like the ink. I'm sold on it. So, uh, if you're into this green ink, which I am, you better grab a bottle while they're still available. And I'm setting up my notebook uh, to where, for me, it's going to be easier to uh, find the colors I need when I need it without going through the whole ring. Now, this isn't, isn't new for me. But the notebook is new because I started one back in 2015 or maybe even back in 2014, to be honest with you. And uh, somehow it got misplaced and thrown out. So I'm starting a whole new one. So this will really be, at least for me, uh, convenient and easy to access at my fingertips. So I thought I'd share that with you all. Now... A pin carry. Well, first of all, here is my Lamy Studio, which I truly love. And let me get uh, this going over here. I'm never ever ready. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. Lamy Studio. Beautiful finish on this pin. It's a blue. It's got a fine nib, but for me, the Lamy Fine Nib works fine. I'm a medium nib type person, but I really enjoy the Lamy Fountain Pens. So, for what it's worth, you can't go wrong with the Lamy. They're always there. They're incredible fountain pens and very affordable. Another one is the Pilot Prayer, which is a really nice fountain pen. I really, really like it, and I wanted to add one more other. I just cleaned this one up. Here's the demonstrator, <laughs> demonstrator type, and here's the gray slate type. And I believe this is a fine nib, and this is a medium nib. Okay? And I, like I said, I just cleaned this one out. So I'll put this one back up. And uh, then uh, here is the Edison Perlet Azure Sky with a medium nib. No, with a broad nib, excuse me. A really a nice fountain pen. It's a beautiful, it, it, it's got a great color. It feels great in my hand. A nice, smooth, wet nib. Uh, wet nib. And, you know, Brian from Edison Pen just, he puts out some quality fountain pens. So, you know, any of the three pens, they're always, for me, a lot of fun to be able to pick this pen up and know I can depend on the pen when I'm writing with it. Another great fountain pen, really superb fountain pen, is the Diplomat Arrow. Now this one has the the gold uh, 14k nib on it. A superb fountain pen, excellent, smooth, wet, feels great in the hand, looks great. Love the design, affordable for a gold nib. You know you can't go wrong with the diplomat. And I have other diplomats of steel nibs, and they're also great writing instruments. So that's another one. And then, 
here comes heavy hitter Lamy Lux Palladium. I believe and correct. Yep, beautiful pen, it, uh, gorgeous. And uh, later I'll be doing an update on the, this pen. Uh, but this is a gorgeous pen uh, because yes, it looks just like the All Star, but it has different things going on with the pen that uh, makes it a cut above the All-Star. You have your Vista, you have your uh, Safari, then your uh, All-Star, then your Lux, LX, and that's how it rolls. And then next, I have the Conklin Stardust. Beautiful fountain pen, and it writes great. Nice, smooth, wet nib. Amazing fountain pen. I really am digging it. A lot of fun with it. And, you know, I just keep looking at this beautiful stardust and just kind of when you're looking up in the sky and you see all the stars. If you live out in the country or a place where there's no lights, just out in the country and you can just look up in the sky, this is what it reminds me of. Last but not least, the Edison again comes up. Collier. Beautiful pen. And this is the blue steel. So all these are my pen carry. Oh, and we got one more. Believe it or not. Here it is. And this is the Uli. A Chinese pen. Now let me talk to you a little bit about this pen. You know, it may not have all the bells and whistles as these pens do. No, it does not have a clip. This was given to me by a friend. I do like the color. And this pen won't roll off their desk because of the way the, the cap is. Uh, it's pretty much secure. Uh, but what I like about this pen is that hooded nib. Believe it or not, this pen, the nib is superb on this pen. I am totally surprised how well this pen wrote. I... To be honest with you, I wasn't expecting this pen to write like it does. And uh, I've been using this pen for, I don't know, what, three weeks now? It's just a great fountain pen. I like the way it writes. It's just something about this pen that that nib just connected with me. So, here they are. So, how do I use all these pens? People have asked me. And I've said this in other videos, and I'll try to explain it again. Well, let's say this pen stays here in this room by a notebook. And I, when I do my workouts, I'll put uh, everything down in my notebook, which is a lot because I track my workouts and the time, how long, how many carbs I burn, how many miles, etc. So, and then I also write in my notebook as well with this pen. This pen stays in my desk in my bedroom. And I have another notebook that I do my daily journaling in that notebook. So this gets a good workout as well. The studio has been going with me everywhere I go. It stays in my pocket here or wherever I can clip it. And I do journaling, notes, letters. Now all these pens are in my pen case. And here is the pen cake. And it holds all five pens. 
and I use these in my journal. I may do a half a page with one pen and then finish it up with another, or I may do a full page with each of the pen. But they all get a good workout. And I'm telling you, by the time they run out of ink, I've put them to the test. And all have performed extremely well. With this Lamy Lux, that beautiful broad black, I mean, a beautiful medium nib, it delivers. I mean, the pen is smooth, wet, and, you know, put the pen to paper. It was talking about a high. Well, you can get a high with that because that's how well this pen writes. It looks amazing. Love the fountain pen. I love the look. It's a Lamy. And you'll be hearing an update on this pen soon. I have a special surprise coming up down the road. That's going to blow you away. At least it blown, blew me away. Because I've been thinking about doing this for some time. For a couple of years now. And, you know, I've heard some people talking about, well, that sure is stupid. They weren't talking to me. It was just a conversation on texting people. Well, that would be stupid to put that on that because you can buy that. And that is, I can't give their name away because it'll spoil the surprise. So, but like I've said, everybody's different. We're all are unique. We have our own style. We have our own rhythm, you know. Uh, so, I really like this certain blank. So, I bought this certain blank for this certain blank. Well, I do want to tell everybody, but that would ruin the surprise. And uh, so, when am I going to get to it? Oh, you know, I'm thinking after... These pins run down. I will probably bring it aboard and go ahead and do it. So probably in the next two weeks, maybe, I should be ready to go. So, with that said, uh, before I hang up here, I want to remind everybody about the pin giveaway that I'm doing on the Lobby 2000. You have to do a fountain pen essay and uh, you will email it to me and Mr. Announcer will give you my email address. LarryB0711 at gmail.com You will send that to me and I will look at them and review them myself. I am purchasing the pen and some other goodies from the Pen Thing store. That's Brian. Uh, that's his store. And Mr. Announcer or myself, we're, we're not going to be involved to, to pick the winner. I'm going to have Brian pick the winner. So Dr. Brian himself will also go through all the essays. And he will pick the best one. And then he'll let me know. And then I will get on here and I'll do a video on here. And I'll let the winner know. And then I'll let everybody on Facebook know. And the pin pal know. And then you can also find me on Instagram and on Twitter. So Mr. Announcer, you want to let them know how to get me there? Okay, Instagram, I believe you would search for Larry.Baronis, B-E-R-R-O-N-E-S. It's a little different on that one. And the other one? I'm sorry, I don't know your Twitter account name. Well, let me see. You know, you have so many here. I mean, I have so many. Not really. But Twitter, I can tell you real quick because I'm going to look it up. Uh, and let's see, right here uh, on my profile... All you need to go to is on Twitter is Larry0711 at sbcglobal.net. And that will get you into uh, 
where I'm at on Twitter. So, and I've got a bunch of stuff going there already. And when you see a, a, a video, you want to tap on that so you can actually see the video playing. But real quick, there I am on Twitter. So, okay, can you see that pretty good? Okay, so, so uh, anyway, so you can check me out on Twitter and uh, Instagram. I'm on Facebook. You want to tell them both places? Uh, Facebook would be Larry's Fountain Pens or Larry the Pen Bug Guy's Pen Pals. Those are my two groups on uh, Facebook. And while I'm at it, when you when when you like to join in one of the groups or both of the groups, there will always be some questions that you will have to answer, so you can gain entry into the group. I believe all the groups have questions that they ask new people uh, that want to join. So they're very simple. So if you're interested, give us a whack on Facebook. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and if you're cool with me on YouTube, you can help by letting your friends know what's happening. So, you know, I'm excited about the giveaway. Yeah, it, it for me, that, that's big money for me. Uh, but, you know, the, the Lamy 2000 is a magnificent fountain pen. It's probably one of the best all around every day to go to fountain pens made. Take it to work, to school, wherever, that Lamy it's going to do the job for you. They call it the workhorse. Yay! <laughs> so, I hope this video gave you the information that you need to find me on different uh, social networks to let you know about the upcoming giveaway. As soon as I reach the 3,000 subscriber mark, and I'm getting these subscribers every day on YouTube, so... It's going to be here before you know it. So don't be on the end of the wagon to sit in that essay. If I were you, I would be working on it and going over it, making sure everything is down that I want to share, and then email it to me. Then I'll give it a look, and then I will email all the essays to, to Brian. And then he'll do his thing. So, as soon as I reach 3,000 subscribers, that's when the giveaway stops. And as soon as I look at all of the essays, I was, you know, I send them to Brian. Then, as soon as he reviews all of them, he will let me know. Then I will get on here and do a video, and I will let the lucky person know about who won what. So, that's going to be the main giveaway. On the next upcoming giveaway, I'll be doing a giveaway from Anderson Pins. Uh... It would probably be most likely a gift certificate. I will we'll be talking to uh, Dave or Chris, whoever, over at Anderson Pins, uh, and let them know. Uh, so that's going to be kind of fun as well. Plus, I've got a lot of pins that I need to start giving away. So I think I'm going to start doing some pin giveaways that I have here at the house starting next week. And some uh, bags as well. And let me show you uh, if I have any around here. Pin bags. I should have some around here somewhere. And I don't. They're not handy. They're somewhere else. But anyway, I have some pin bags to give out. Pin sleeves to give out. A lot of goodies to be coming your way. All you have to do is be a subscriber. Well, 
that's enough of me taking up your time. And do you realize it's 79 degrees here in Fort Worth, Texas? This morning it was cloudy and gloomy and raining. Now the sun is bright. I done fed the squirrels, gave them fresh water. Coverage back home from the doctor. Uh, and uh, he has to take a shot twice a week, correct? For the next three weeks in it. And then it goes down to one shot a month. One shot a week for three weeks. One shot a week on that for three weeks. And that's for, well, the best way I can describe it is kind of help them put back the, the bones and tissues back together uh, because what arthritis and stuff. And when when he walks, the doctor was saying, uh, you can see his back was kind of curved down or something. What does she remember? Something like that. Yeah. So, but this will help him tremendously and help him feel better. And then he's on medication as well. He's on Turmerdol, Gabapentin, Gabapentin, and on another one as well. One's a liquid and two are uh, tablets. I cut them in half and grind them up and put them in his food. So he's on some medication that will make him, help him feel better. Uh, but other than that, He's still with me, and I'm thanking God for that, because that's my one and only pride and joy. And uh, anything else to share with y'all? Let me see. I think I am going to be ordering the... I don't remember. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. The, the King of Pens. Yes, but which one? Uh. I'll give you a hint. I'm talking about the Sailor Man. Doo -doo. Spinach? No. I don't remember. I'm on a boat. E Sailor King of Yes! Okay. Yay! <laughs> Ding -a -ling! Yeah, there. How you like that? Huh. Also, some upcoming pin reviews. When you don't want to miss, what I don't want to miss is the, the like, the Moon 3. And if you keep up with Chinese pins, Bobby is the pin maker, nib maker and all that good stuff. Uh, the Chinese gentleman. So keep that thought. And, uh, well, I think it's time to go. Got to give Cub his medicine. And, uh. That's all there is to it, my friends. So, thanks for joining me today. Until my next video, stay safe. Peace. Love to all rock and roll men. Turn the jams up. Grab yourself a fountain pen and do some writing. And I'm out of here. Later, folks. Goodbye. <laughs>